Hello, this is BuilderDude35 here, and today I'm going to teach you how to do uh, advanced programming for return to center steering on an EV3 robot. This is something I get asked a lot. I, I like to build race cars, and so I've pioneered this sort of return to center steering system for, for myself, and now I would like to share it with you guys. This is something I've noticed that a lot of people want to know how to do, but not many people know how to do it. So today, I'm going to teach you how to do it. So as you see here, I have a fresh open project, and the objective is to create four my blocks that are um, each elements in how you steer the car. We have steer center, which is going to center your steering automatically in the beginning, so your car will already be driving a straight line. Return to center, so when you stop steering, the car will go back to driving in a straight line. There's steer right and steer left. Um, now, if you've ever looked at a picture of one of these programs that I've made, you're probably thinking, oh, this is way too complicated for me. And the truth is, it's really not. If you know the logic behind it, you'll understand it. So we're going to start with the steering center program. The purpose of the steer center my block is to center your steering at the beginning of the program. Of course, if you don't want to do this, you could skip it and just manually center your steering yourself, but it's, it's much more accurate to just have the machine do it for you. So first, what you're going to do is you're going to drag out a loop block onto the screen, and you're going to set it, change it from unlimited. You're going to go to motor rotation, and you're going to go to current power. Now let's assume that your steering motor for whatever car you're building is motor A. Now, now what you're going to do is you're going to drag a medium motor block. Hopefully you're using a medium motor for your steering. If you're not, that's totally cool. You could just use a large motor block. So what you're going to do is you're going to turn your medium motor on. Uh, it doesn't matter what direction it's going, just as long as the power is low. So set it maybe for something to 30. If you have a robust steering, your power can be set a little higher. But if your steering is kind of weak, you might want it lower. And now what we're establishing here is we're going to have the steering drive in one direction until it reaches the absolute limits of the steering. Then it's going to stop and, and return to the middle. Okay? So we have the steering that's going to turn on forever. And what you want to do is you uh, want to add uh, a weight of about 0 0.3 seconds maybe. And so now we're going to set our power parameters. This is where the magic happens. When your steering motor turns on, you're going to have the steering motor turn on, but you don't want it to go forever because then something's going to break. So you set it, the steering to turn on until the motor power dips below a certain level. So we're going to set this to less than. And see, we have the motor power set to 30. So when, when the, motor, uh, the target motor power has to be less, than what you set it to. So you can't set this to 45 and have this set at 30. That just wouldn't work. Uh, so we're going to use 20%, for example. These values you're going to have to play around with to find what suits your steering best. So next what we're going to do is what, well, what this is establishing here is the steering is at the limit now, the absolute limit that it could possibly steer in one direction. This uh, sets up a baseline, and so now you need to have it return back to the center. Now, this is going to vary for whatever steering mechanism you're using, and uh, um, you're going to have to play around with how many degrees are going to go from one end of your steering to the middle. Uh, I'm going to use the values for the ThunderSmart Muon, which is the current project I'm working on, so that's going to be 20 degrees. And keep in mind that you steered one direction here, so you want to go back into the middle by going in the other direction. You can find out this degree value using a, a special tool that I'm going to teach you about in next week's video. Uh, or you could just use trial and error until you find out the right part. And so now, the last thing we're going to do is we're going to get another uh, medium motor block out. And we're just going to tell the motor to stop because once it's in the center you don't want it to do anything else until it's instructed 
And then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to open up the sensor here. You're going to drag out a motor rotation block and you're going to tell it to reset. So that means, so basically what this program has done is it's reset the steering to the center and said, hey, this is zero degrees. The center is now zero degrees. So this is what you're going to build off for the rest of your programs.